What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here at H Mart today because I desperately need some groceries. I'm gonna show you how I pick out my produce, how I shop at the grocery store, and then I'll take you home and I'll show you how I store my groceries. So let's go. All right, so before I even step foot into the grocery store, it starts at home. I have to take a look at what's in my fridge, make a list of what I need, because I don't want to be in the grocery store just grabbing random shit. That's a waste of money, and that's a waste of food. And also, make sure to bring a bag, because global warming is real, and I forgot my bag today. We're here at the produce section. One tip that I have for you, when I pick out limes, pick the ones that looks like it has a skincare routine. You see the difference? This one is way juicier, and this one barely has any juice. So you want to get the most for your money. <laughs> this is kind of obvious, but don't buy fruits that looks like it's been through it. Like, don't buy fruits with bruises. Smell them, touch them. Like, really get to know your fruits. You want to be conscious with what you put in your body. Just really look at your produce. Pick the prettiest looking one. Just pick the prettiest looking one. <laughs> if it's like bruised, if it looks dirty, if it looks like it's dying, don't get it. But if it looks like it's thriving and fresh and green and vibrant and colorful, grab that shit. So I usually, for my greens, I usually get kale and like romaine leaf lettuce. I have kale at home, so I'm just gonna be grabbing uh, romaine and I'll show you guys how I store these to make them last long this guy right here mmm these potted herbs are really really great because you can like literally repot them and you'll have endless herbs frozen berries are actually really fresh usually more fresh than regular berries speaking of berries I need some regular berries <gasps> pink pineapple but I'm putting it back because I'm sticking to my list. You better stick to your list. I usually buy my berries at the uh, farmer's market because the quality is better and I think it tastes a lot better too. So I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow, which is Sunday for me, to grab my berries. Actually, no. Okay, let's talk eggs. They don't have it here, but my favorite brand of eggs are Happy Eggs and they have like the best looking yolk. It's so orange and it tastes so good. But my one advice for you when you're buying eggs, um, and my mom gave me shit for this because I didn't do it. Open the, open the egg carton and look at your eggs because sometimes they be cracking. And another tip for eggs, get the ones in the back because those are the newer ones versus the ones in the front. Besides happy eggs, I usually like to get like this eggs too. This, there's levels to eggs. If you didn't know, now you know. Let's go over and get some meat and seafood. Shout out to H Mart because you guys have the best quality meats for Korean barbecue, cooking in general. Like it's already been sliced, super quick, so easy. I love shopping for my meats here at H Mart. H Mart has a really good like variety of seafood to choose from and it's pretty fresh and they have a lot of different shrimps to choose from really big shrimps or like different types of shrimps that you're looking for like prawns get it from here but if you're if you're just looking for this types of shrimp like just the regular white shrimp don't get it here because that those are already been frozen you might as well just get the frozen one so you can save a little bit more money like this this is the same thing as the shrimp that was over there. But it's cheaper because it's already pre-packaged, it's already in here. Here we are at the sauce aisle. So Lee Kum Ki is a brand that, I mean, it's a, such an iconic brand. I buy a lot of their sauces, especially their hoisin sauce. They have great um, soy sauce. Like they make just really solid sauces. So Lee Kum Ki is like a really safe bet to go, um, to go with. <laughs> If you have the option of QP versus this, just just pick QP. Rice vinegar, I usually get this brand. Mirin over here. If you've never tried this also, 
I mean, if you're Asian, you know what this is, but this is pork floss. Try it. Try it with rice. Try it. Try it with rice first, and then report back to me. See how you feel about it. It's really yummy. It's kind of like eating carpet, but flavorful carpet. <laughs> Hello. I think I left my phone in the car. Thank you so much. All right. We are now home. Let's show you guys how to properly store these produce. So for fruits and berries, you're actually supposed to wash them as you go. Like however much you want to eat at that time, you wash them. That right then and there because it lasts longer if you don't wash them ahead of time But if you're like me and you eat a lot of fruit, I am a snacker So I snack on fruits a lot and in order to snack on a lot of fruits I need to prep them ahead of time. So what I do put them in my little Salad spinner and by the way if you don't have a salad spinner get yourself a salad spinner I throw a little bit of baking soda in here Whoa. Just a little spin. Take all the water out. Do one more spin so I can dry them out. And if I'm really in the mood and if I feel like it, this is what I'll do. I'm just kind of like a little extra with it. I'll remove the core. I'll stand here and just like remove the core of each one so then I can just pop it in my mouth whenever I feel like I'm in a snacking mood, which is every night. <laughs> I'll just get my little container, line it with paper towels, and throw them right in here. Store these kind of in this middle section above like my food, above like my cooked stuff. This section is like for fruits, and for leftovers, I store my proteins at the bottom of my fridge. Because the last thing you want to do is storing your protein up top and somehow the juices comes out and it drips onto your veggies, on your greens, on your fruits. Like imagine eating strawberries with chicken juice. First of all, you'll probably die, <laughs> but just like store your meats at the bottom, okay? And then everything else is on top. Also, been loving Olipops a lot lately. I mean, only five grams of sugar per can. Probiotics for your gut health, like, shh, we're filming. <laughs> can you please? I know I can stop this. Shut up. Olipop, what's up? Let's let's do some. <laughs> Again, love to snack. Um, and I think bananas are a really good snack. But the one thing, one tip that I have for storing bananas is to leave this plastic thing on the top of the banana so it doesn't oxidize too, too quick and it doesn't ripen too fast. So there's a technique to preserving cilantro, but this is how I like to store my cilantro. I like to store my cilantro with my green onions because I usually just top off a lot of my food with green onions and cilantro anyways. So I cut them all together and then I put them all in one um, container. So then whenever I need a little topper, I'll just cilantro, onions, ready to go. I'll leave like one little bunch of green onions because sometimes I'll need a different type of cuts for the green onions. Okay, that like took me probably like five minutes out of my life just to make my life more easier. So don't be lazy. That's all I'm saying. Now when it comes to mint base, I think I have a green onion in my hair. So when it comes to mint, basil, and anything else, like it has a little bit more of that stem. I like to cut a little bit of the stem at the bottom. Um, you should use like scissors or use a cutting board for this. Do not follow me. This is not safe. <laughs> I give it a little, a little rinse. That's 
that's it. That's all. That's it. It's that easy. And it lasts a really, really long time. Leafy greens. I also store my kale the same way. So I take it apart so each leaf gets the rinse that it deserves because, I mean, this grows from the ground, so, so much dirt is in there. So I will set up a little station. So this is my lettuce, and then this is my towel station. I go in, give it a really good scrub in the center. And then I'll lay them out. And when you stack them, stack them like from biggest to smallest, like how it was grown. I mean, a little dirt doesn't hurt nobody, you know, but it's kind of gross. Okay, this is what I do next. I will fold them into like one big bunch like this, store them in the same drawer as my kale. Like I said, I store my kale the same way. And this lasts a really long time and it keeps the it keeps the leafy greens really crisp. And that is it for my grocery haul and how I store my produce. If you have any tips leave them down below on how to pick out groceries, how to pick out meat, whatever. And I know what you're gonna say, I'm not gonna do all of that work because I have all these dishes to, to wash. You have a dishwasher. I have a dishwasher. Use that shit. You guys can find more of me on Instagram, across all social platforms, at Toyota Bay. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.